Hello everyone, my name is Jagdi Swaran from Group 9. Today I am going to present to you about the solar drive for food industry department which is designed by our group. Before we get into it, let's talk about the problem that has been faced by the food industries currently. To extend the shelf life of agricultural products, drying is being used to remove the water from agricultural products. There are many ways to dry the products, but the most classic ways of drying the product is open sun drying. However, employing this approach includes several disadvantages, uh, like example insect infection, microbial assault and so on. To address these issues, we have presented a low-cost simple processing indirect solar dryer in our project. The project's design is as shown as below, which consists of a blower, solar collector and a drying chamber. As for the characteristics of our solar dryer, firstly we are going to look at the solar collector. The solar collector is connected to the blower consisting of insulation material, an absorber plate and a transparent plate. As for the insulator, it is completely made up of plywood and the transparent glass on top of the solar collector has a dimension of 1080 by 956 mm with a thickness of 4 mm and the absorber plate's length which is 1 meter and made up of aluminium plate and the dimension of the whole solar collector is covering up an area of 1 meter square. Next up is the drying chamber. The drying chamber is made of stainless steel as the frame consisting of insulation material, 3 trays, pipes and a chimney. As for information, the chamber is completely insulated from all sides except for the top side. The frame is made up of stainless steel. The insulator is made up of glass wool with a thickness of 20 mm and the trays which are made up of stainless steel are being separated apart by 150 mm. Okay, now we are going to see how the system is working. Firstly, once electricity is supplied to the blower, the blower produces ambient air to the solar collector. The solar collector which consists of absorber plates absorbs the solar radiation. Now the hot air enters the drying chamber through the connected pipes to heat up the food which is being placed in the trays. Finally the humid air is released from the chamber through the chimney to the surroundings. These are the materials that we use to design our project. The total cost per unit is 2,679 ringgit. This is our project's gun chart. The main question now is that why should buyers consider our design? Our design has a uniform air distribution system in the drying chamber. To provide a consistent airflow in the drying chamber, pipes are used to link the drying chamber and solar collector. In the drying chamber, there are three vertical pipes that are connected to a horizontal pipe at the bottom. The use of pipes lets the air to move individually to each of the trays, ensuring that air is spread uniformly across each of the tray. Not only that, we also have an efficient heat transfer area in solar collector. As illustrated in the diagram, we utilize a zigzag shaped solar absorber plate. The surface area of this unusual shaped solar absorber increases, allowing for a great quantity of heat to be absorbed and a higher heat transfer efficiency. At this moment, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my professor Mr. Dr. Afsa Nizam for guiding us throughout this project whenever we confronted our problems and I would also like to thank my classmates for giving me their support. Thank you so much. That's all from us.